I bring people into the mountains for a living. I bring leaders who are creatives, visionaries, mavericks, rule breakers, free spirits, free thinkers into the mountains with me. People who are sometimes stuck, but all of them leaders in life, business or both. Like I said, I bring them into the mountains for a living. I bring them into a space where they find space and time to let ideas flow again, to disconnect completely from everything that is causing them stress, from their to-do lists that are always way too long, and give them the time and space they need to be inspired again, to have inspiration flow again, to have all that energy that's always stuck in their heads drop into their body and have energy flow again so that ideas can flow again. I bring them into the mountains with me for five to seven days and during those first two days they slow down, they let city pace go, that pace that grips all of us when we're in, in the fury of working, when we're in trying to get everything done that's on the to-do list down when we're rushing from meeting to meeting when we're trying to help others that come to us and say we have a problem all that they leave all that behind because in the mountains you cannot move at that pace you have to slow down and when you're moving through the mountains in for more than just a day you start moving at the rhythm of nature your rhythm sinks with that of nature you find a pace that you can maintain for a long time and that rhythm is almost meditative and by the time you get settles in usually towards the end of day two definitely on day three it is as though your mind a partition of your mind of your hard drive gets wiped clean it's where all that stuff that has to do with doing is left behind at the side of the trail and that space can now be filled with new ideas with inspiration with things that further grow your vision and I'm not immune to city pace as a matter of fact last week I finally took myself into the mountains with me. I had a friend visiting who is a leader in her own right in, in the work that she does for the American Occupational Therapist Association. And we just went hiking for three days. And now my friend had never done that before. And at some point she said, I felt like a completely different person. The only thing that I had to do was move with the mountains, move in the mountains. I didn't have to be somewhere at a certain time. The only thing that I had to worry about is where do I put my feet? How am I going to go up this mountain? And the other thing that she could that I could do, she said, is enjoy the little things. I could start I started noticing the little things. I started I saw my surroundings, I actually saw them. And those are all things that when you're s stuck in, in city pace, in your regular life, are often hard to do, often hard to see. You have to regularly take time out to rekindle the fire in your belly, to reignite that fire to let energy flow again to get out of your head and use all of you your body your spirit your soul your brain everything and let that all that flow into your vision again and by the end of those five to seven days of hiking my clients don't only go home with a reignited vision sometimes even a greater vision or a new vision for their life or their business they also go home with a plan 
how to implement that and how to get people to follow them too how to get how are they going to get how are they going to inspire people but because there's no use in being a leader when there's nobody following you you have to be able to bring the people that work with you come along with you on the journey towards realizing your vision and it's this cyclical thing you have to regularly take time to do that because it's just human nature to get drawn in again into the doing you get back into regular life you get away from the mountains and the quiet and the space you're in a world again where digital noise is everywhere where people are everywhere and you get just drawn into the doing again so set time apart every quarter every half year every every year to go out to find yourself a place or to come with me a place where you have time and space to reignite your vision to come into the mountains with me and not only enjoy the, f the physicality of moving through the mountains but also literally get a different perspective on everything that's going on down in the valley including your life and your business as you hike as you hike up the mountains and as you come around corners and have once again a different view I know of no better way to get inspired again and every now and again I have to remind myself that I have to do that too because I'm luck and I'm lucky I live here and I get to enjoy the mountains that I'm sitting in right now I'll show you so there we go Can you imagine what the view must be like when you're up there somewhere? I'm telling you. Totally worth it. Totally worth it. As always, go there greatly. Bye bye.